rescue to Western Kenya and Masinde Muliro University has now been converted into a disinfectant and sanitizer production center. Willy Lusige is on the story for us. Good afternoon, Lusige. Great to see you. Over to you. Good afternoon, Grace. Yes, indeed. If after the outbreak of the COVID-19 virus, we have had the challenge of getting the right materials to use, this includes sanitizers. We also need chlorine, which plays a key role, especially in terms of fumigation. We have seen major counties now adopting the idea of fumigating urban centers. This has happened in Kakamega. I've shown it. It has happened in Bungoma. But the most important point has been the production of these ingredients and also materials. And Masinde Moliro University, being one of the key uh, institutions in Western region, has been producing these, and that's what we want to find out. How have they been producing all these materials? How much it has costed them? And what kind of brands are they being able to sell out there in the public and also contribute to county government? So for this reason, that's why what you're seeing on the screen, those are detergents. They have also produced soap. They have also produced hand sanitizers, and all of these are being made up here at Masinde Muliro University, especially at this time where we are aware that all the students are at home because of the spread and the outbreak of COVID-19. So this is a process that they have been doing, but one of the biggest challenges they have been facing is lack of enough facility, lack of enough equipment, lack of enough money, and they have been looking for donors to be able to scale up production. And so far, they have been able to provide materials and these products to the county government of Bungoma definitely if they can be able they can continue producing even to other counties i mean county government of kakamega and also apart from that giving free training to health uh, officials and apart from that also making sure they sensitize the members of the public and distribute these free detergent soaps and also sanitizers also produce the chlorine that we saw being used by the county government of kakamega to fumigate major urban market points where members of the public do Converge. It's very, very important uh, to talk to those people behind it. Welcome to KTN News. We'll begin with your name because of time. Just briefly tell us how much are you producing, how much do you expect to produce, and what do you need to scale up production? Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm uh, uh, Dr. Francis Orata Omoto, and I'm the head of the Department of Pure and Applied Chemistry. This is our production laboratory. We have another laboratory that does a uh, other things like uh, essential oils and so forth. But here is the bulk production of uh, uh, some of the products we have, like sanitizer, we have detergent and, and hand wash. And uh, we, we do slightly, you ask the quantities, we do slightly uh, less than 1,000 liters every day of these uh, solutions. But with the facilitation, we want to go to, to upscale to 3,000, 2,000 uh, uh, liters every day so that we can be able to cover a big uh, area and many counties around us. Yeah. Now we are producing for now, we are producing so many personal care products uh, like uh, soaps and, 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 and uh, uh, detergents and I told you essential oils and, and, and septics. But because of the COVID-19, we now producing more of sanitizers, uh, hand wash uh, and, and uh, the general detergents for now. Uh, but uh, we have other labs that we do some food stuff and, uh, and, and so forth. Yeah. Let me speak to the VC. You are new here. You have come in time when we have the outbreak of COVID-19. Members of the public demand or require, require you to be able to provide these materials as an institution. What kind of financial help do you need? Have you seeked any donors so far? Uh, we need finances. As he told you, there are many products that we produce in these laboratories, but specifically to fight COVID-D, uh, we are producing uh, products like hand sanitizers, there are soaps, uh, there's even now the new demand for chlorine. We are well able to do it, but we are producing it in a very minute uh, quantity. The reason is because we had, didn't have a budget for this, but so far the university has been able, through its own sources, to use one and a half million to do this. And we need money to scale up. We are in talks with the county government, who have promised they will do something so that we can scale up this, and also with the neighboring county governments. That's Vihiga, uh, Busia, as well as Bungoma, uh, to do this. 
And I believe when we get the right funding, we'll produce more and they satisfy the needs of the county governments around. As we wind up just for 30 seconds, there have been also calls by the national government, the county government, for you to set up one of your hostels to be an isolation unit because they feel the number of COVID-19 uh, cases in Western might increase. If, uh, God forbid, our prayer is that this doesn't uh, increase. You know, Kenya is a praying nation and we expect miracles from the Lord. Uh, but in case we go that way. We are pre well prepared as a university in our small way. Um, we, have a, a, we have our dormitories where we can have isolation facilities that we can accommodate up to say 1,000 people. But when it comes to critical issues where you have positives will be, uh, patients would be positive, then I don't see us having one. And I'm glad today, as we speak, you know, we had three bodies operating in the county, but on their own, the university on their own, the county government, and the uh, county hostel on its own. But today we merged the three, and we have one way. We, we, we are being guided under the leadership of the governor. Uh, we, are, we have agreed that in, uh, uh, apart from the isolation facilities, we need those quarantine facilities, especially at the end of the day, we may have to have a COVID hospital. Because of time, I'll have to cut you short, but thank you so much for those details. This is Masinde Muliro University now producing chlorine and detergents and also sanitizers, which are now playing a key role in the fight against the COVID-19. We'll give you more details in our subsequent bulletins. Grace? Indeed, Lucy Gare, thank you.